Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome. Today I will be sharing with all of you another dua uh, from the life of the prophets, all of the different prophets that we have. And if you are joining me live, you can let me know where you're joining me um, in the comments. And uh, I've started this series, first of all, to help myself learn about the different du'as that the different prophets made um, and the reason why they made those du'as and to see if uh, we can learn anything of benefit um, from the du'as that they made. So the first day I shared um, the du'a, assalamu alaikum everyone, the first day I shared the du'a of Adam alayhi salam um, and when he made the du'a and so today I will go ahead and share the du'a of Yunus alayhi salam and so I will share with you guys the du'a, what it means um, and any reflections that I had while I was making, um, while I was reading and making this du'a. So if you're joining me, you can let me know where you're joining me from um, and inshallah this will be beneficial to you. So I will go ahead and start it. So um, the du'a here I have four in my own handwriting. So I will start inshallah. It says Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minaz zalimin And so what does this dua mean? It means no one has the right to be worshipped but you Allah glorified and exalted are you truly I have been of the wrong doers and so Prophet Yunus alayhi salam made this dua at the time of distress when he was in the belly of the whale and uh, when I read this dua I immediately thought of the fact that Allah listens no matter where we might be and we know that any duas that we make even if they might not be answered when we think we need them to be answered they will be answered at the right time and at the right place and at the time when it's the best for us and so Prophet Yunus subhanAllah was in the whale and he made this dua Wa alaikum as everyone and he made this dua and Allah answered his prayers from the belly of the whale and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam um, it is a hadith that he has said in At-Tirmidhi um, that no Muslim ever prays to his Lord with these words for anything but he will answer his prayers. So this dua is, is showing you how important this dua that Yunus alayhi salam made is because Prophet Muhammad is saying that any dua that any Muslim makes anywhere in the world if it contains these words of Prophet Yunus, um, peace be upon him, that Allah will answer those prayers. And my reflections while reading this were that Allah listens to our prayers, no matter where we might be, in what situation we might be, and how we might be feeling. And that, you know, even prophets who are in distress more so than us, because we're normal everyday people, right? But these were prophets that Allah sent to guide us. And if they can go through so many problems and so much trouble um, and, and be tested in so many different ways, then why can't we be tested as well to show our faith, to show our determination, um, to show our closeness to him and to elevate our us in our ranks? Um, and that, you know, subhanAllah, Allah will ease and answer our prayers um, and that no prayer is disregarded and that every single prayer that we make uh, will be answered at one point or another because if Prophet Yunus alayhi salam's prayers were answered from the belly of the whale then so will our prayers be answered inshallah wherever we might be and whatever situation we might be in. Um, and to go along with this dua, I looked up three of 
um, Allah's names that I could use for dhikr. Um, and the first one was Al-Badi, which is for the stress, uh, because Allah is the incomparable. The second word was Al-Baqi, uh, which is the everlasting, because Allah is everlasting. So our troubles are, um, or our struggles are not going to go on forever because Allah is the one who is everlasting, the only one who's everlasting. And al muhyi which is to give relief um, because it's the giver of life. And so this was the dua um, that I found from Prophet Yunus. I hope that it helps you reflect um, and it helps you learn um, from the life of this amazing Prophet. Um, and that inshallah, this is one prayer that um, you use. Uh, La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu mina um, To help you answer and open the gates to all of your prayers. And with that, thank you so much for joining me. Um, and I hope you all have an amazing um, rest of the day and an amazing uh, fasting season, inshallah, this Ramadan. Uh -huh.